Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the May 14th edition of WAH TV. We're coming to you today from Studio 22. I'm Will. And I'm Steven. And today we've got stories on lacrosse, common surface issues, and baccalaureate. But before we get into a few announcements, let's take a look at the advanced drama class and their upcoming show. Um, I think my favorite part about The Outsiders is that it's just like a really good, compelling story where you see all the, this different range of characters getting to like grow throughout the show and everyone starts uh, in, a, in a different place than they end. And I think that's really cool just to like be able to sit there and watch them change and watch how like these different events impact them. My favorite part about the Advanced Drama Show I think is like the story. Um, it's kind of got a bit of like a West Side Story feel. It's super interesting. We got fight scenes, we got super emotional scenes, so it's just, the whole this entire show is just super fun. My favorite thing about Advanced Drama is that a lot of the responsibility to put this show together, especially the production areas, falls on us as the students. It's also just an experience that you'll never find anywhere else, actually creating a show um, from the bare bones of a script with an amazing director like Mrs. Burek and putting in the work yourselves as students. I haven't directed the Advanced Drama Show in four years. It's been really special to come back and work with this group specifically. There are ten boys in this class and five girls, which is usually the reverse. Usually there's way more girls than guys, so that really influenced which show we could pick. This group of students is really able to be vulnerable and able to really connect with the characters they're playing. It's a challenge though to have to play a high school student when you're a high school student because you feel um, like, how am I going to really make this character different from who I am? Um, but there's something really special about playing somebody who's actually in your age bracket and trying to effectively bring that character to life in a believable way. Audiences can go see The Outsiders, May 24th through till the 26th. Tickets cost $5 at the door. Come support your fellow classmates, because this is one show you won't want to miss. Thanks, Saunders. For all you theater buffs, stop by the White Chapel in a couple of weeks to watch the show. Admission is $5. Now, let's give a couple of announcements. If you are a girls basketball player and planning on playing summer basketball, there will be a lunchtime meeting this Thursday in Mr. Bowling's room to go over the schedule. Bring your lunch. If you can't make it to the meeting, stop by and talk with Ms. Carwell. Dance auditions are next Monday from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. in the dance room. Information about improv workshops and auditions that are happening over the next two weeks can be found by the signups and applications, which are located on the theater board in the main building. There are also applications for a photographer, videographer, and graphic designer. If you have any questions about auditions or applications, please contact Mrs. Wolfel, Ms. Benson, or Mr. Skiba. This spring semester before school, a completely student-led group of 20 advanced instrumentalists called Camarada has been rehearsing. Camarada is having a short performance in the White Chapel after school, Thursday, May 31st, the Thursday of finals week. They will be performing music from Star Wars and Les Mis. If you need a study break, come to the White Chapel and enjoy 20 minutes of fun music. As we get closer to finals, it has become even more important to have your surface working properly. Jamal Freeman talks to us about common surface problems. Hi, I'm Jamal, and today I went around to ask people what common problems they have had with their surfaces. The mouse is glitching, uh, the keyboard sometimes doesn't connect, and to fix this, I mainly just turn it off, turn it back on, and pray to God that it works. So, um, yeah, yellow screen, um, keyboard keeps disconnecting and reconnecting. Uh, it's really slow on a lot of websites. You can't play Fortnite on it. Never use my Surface, ever. I don't even keep it charged. Ever. Sometimes I want to throw my surface off of the roof, but they gave me a big case to protect it. Um, well, it shuts off all the time and it gives you a little frowny face on there. It's really sad. It is cool to look at because it's like a frowny face, but it's, it stinks. It makes me angry. A problem with my surface is that one note keeps crashing, so all my homework gets deleted. Pen tips, surface case, keyboard. A problem with my service is that the keyboard doesn't work sometimes. Yeah, well, uh, my keyboard never works. Um, every time it gets low on power, it just quits on me. It's just done. 
On this my surface is that the case is broken, my screen is turning yellow, and the keyboard doesn't connect always. It crashes, turns off, disconnects, low battery. Yo, funny you asked me this. My background keeps on changing to George Lopez. I don't know if this is like some new problem or something. I don't know who else is experiencing this, but... People have a lot of the same common issues. Take some time to go to the IT office and uh, get some help. They are well trained and know how to help you. But you can also look around to ask others for help, their students or staff or anyone. Like Jamal said, don't hesitate to get help with that surface problem. Chances are the IT officer or another student knows how to help you solve the problem. Don't just be a complainer, take some initiative and learn to fix your own problems or bring in others when needed. With only two weeks left for the seniors, baccalaureate and graduation is quickly approaching. I caught up with Mr. Brooke for our Walking the Hall segment to find out a little bit more about what baccalaureate is. This is Stephen Garrison from Law TV. I'm here with Mr. Brooke to discuss a senior event here uh, just before graduation. So, Mr. Brooke, what is a baccalaureate? Baccalaureate has become a great tradition here on the Friday before graduation, just two days before, where we gather and we have a pretty unique worship experience with all seniors and their families and other people in the community if they choose to come. And we get to send off this incredible senior class in a way that hopefully honors them but ultimately glorifies Christ in the process. So what makes this event different than graduation? Well, graduation is a phenomenal celebration. Um, it's got a professional feel, people dress up, but baccalaureate is this chance to say goodbye through worship, prayer, testimonies, and celebration. And we just hope that it's a place where seniors, once again, can leave Wheaton Academy in a pretty profound way. Thanks for the information. This is Stephen Garrison reporting from Law TV. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Brooke. We are all excited for the event. Baccalaureate is a free event to attend, and again, it is taking place on Friday, June 1st at 7 p.m. Next week, there will be a brief student-led service of dedication for Memorial Bench in honor of Jaden Phillips. The service will be at 11.15 a.m. on Thursday, May 17th, in front of the White Chapel. All are welcome. For our In the News segment, Guest reporter Lizzie Swoboda reports on the recent volcanic activity in Hawaii. Kilauea, a Hawaiian volcano, erupted May 1st, causing great danger and chaos on the Big Island. Eruption began following one of the largest earthquakes the island has seen in decades. And a few days ago, two new volcanic vents erupted, leading to new evacuation orders on the island's south corner. Over 1,700 people have been ordered to evacuate. The lava has engulfed over 104 acres, However, the lava is not the only life-threatening matter that officials and residents are dealing with. New fissures are opening, creating cracks in the ground and releasing deadly sulfuric dioxide out. According to the Hawaii State Rep, Tulsi Gabbard, sulfur dioxide gas can be so toxic and thick in some areas that it can be fatal, especially to those who have respiratory illness. The wind can push the gas in different directions, so that's a very serious concern given the high levels. Officials are working around the clock to ensure resident safety, but no one truly knows how long the eruption will last for. Hawaii, our thoughts and prayers go out to you. For In the News, I'm Lizzie. Back to you, Stephen. Thanks for that report, Lizzie. For our next segment, I take a look at a very popular survival game that has taken the world by storm. Fortnite Battle Royale is the hottest game right now in the video game world. Developer Epic Games took this concept and spun it out into a separate free-to-play battle royale game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. It has gone on to eclipse the success of PUBG and other battle royale games like it, boasting a record-breaking 3.4 million concurrent players across all platforms. Like other battle royale games, Fortnite Battle Royale is a competitive shooter between 100 players as they airdrop out of a moving plane or battle bus in this case. Then fight to survive as the play space slowly shrinks to force people into combat. To the battle royale formula, you need to find all of your weapons and equipment on the map. You don't land with anything other than a pickaxe. There's also a mobile version of battle royale that has raised some issues, even here at Wien Academy, 
which consists of the same core game and even supports cross-platform play with PC and console. Fortnite for Mobile is currently in beta on iOS and coming to Android soon. While Battle Royale is free to play, there are various paid packages that you can purchase in order to get more cosmetic items right out of the gate. So is this game distracting students from their work? Increased attention from teachers and teens say Fortnite Mobile is destroying some schools. Teens are obsessed with Fortnite and is driving some teachers crazy. As you consider your own level of investment into Fortnite, don't forget how valuable the educational investment is for your future. Keep things in perspective and make good decisions about how to use and manage your time. While at Wien Academy and in classes, put your phone away and engage in the community in front of you. With sports, next, here's John Cram. Thanks, Will. Teams are wrapping up their seasons, so pay attention to how you can go out and support, and support them. The girls' team fell to 3-12 and with a loss to Aurora Central Catholic last Thursday. They play their final game, uh, regular season game, on Tuesday at home, starting at 4.30. Get out and support them. The tennis team looks to finish up their conference tournament today. Wheaton Academy is represented in all five of the divisional championships. Sectionals begin on Friday at Hinsdale South. The girls' track team finish up their season on Friday night at sectionals. Julia Robletsky and Karen Best both are moving on and will run at the state meet next weekend. Julia finished in third place in the 3200 meter run and Karen Best won the 100 and the, two, and the 300 meter hurdles as well as the 200 meter run. Congrats to the whole team on a great season. The boys track ran, a conference, ran in the conference meet this past weekend. Our 4x800 meter relay team consisting of Nate Beerley, Max Dominguez, Ryan Watts, and Ryan Whitstock along with Nate Beerley in the 300 meter hurdles and Noah Mayo for the 400 meter dash, all finished as all conference. The boys all run in sectionals this Friday night at Genoa Kingston. Baseball had an epic game last Thursday night coming back from a run deficit against Chicago Christian in the bottom of the seventh to force the extra innings. Eventually the, team, the game was called because of darkness in the bottom of the 12th inning, resulting in a tie. Girls finished their regular season with a record of 11. Girls soccer finished the regular season with a record of 11 and 6 and 2. They begin regionals this week at 5 p.m. on Wednesday at home. Boys volleyball have their senior night to, uh, starting at 6 p.m. tonight down in the Warrior Dome. Come out and support our five graduating seniors. Our lacrosse team played this Friday night against the 26th ranked team in the state, St. Rita. In a stunning finish to the game, the Warriors pulled off a come-from-behind victory. With under four minutes to play and down 12-14, to 14, the Warriors not only forced overtime, but won the game 15-14. to 14. Gerald Blackman put together a short lacrosse hype video get up to get you excited about Tuesday night's game against St. Francis. Check it out. I don't know if you guys know, but our lacrosse team is kind of raw. Tuesday at St. Francis. Bring the room to them, bring your buddies, and come support the lacrosse team. Let's have a great time. Go lacrosse. And to wrap up today's episode, here's Quinn on the four things you need to know. Thanks, Stephen. Let's get to our four things. Number one, Furnace Company auditions are quickly approaching. Check the theater board for sign-up information and applications. Number two, many of our international students are performing at our annual Cairo show. There are two performances starting at 7 p.m. this Friday and Saturday at the White Chapel. Come out and support them. Number three, it's college day for seniors. Many of them are showing off their college choices on their clothes today. Stop them at some point and find out why they have chosen to go there. 
And number four, there are so many ways to support friends and classmates at the end of the year. Get out to a show, a game, or an event and be an encourager in our community. To wrap up our last episode of the year, Simon Shackelford and John Cram talked to our WA TV seniors about this experience and the class in general. Take a look. So as a senior here, uh, WA TV has challenged me to uh, be, have a space to be uh, really creative um, and to open up my horizons, meet new people. Um, sometimes I get a little like shy and like introverted, so it's helped me uh, reach out of my comfort zone, get to know people. So one of the unique things about WA TV, I think, is its ability to um, get information across while also being entertaining. I think that students really like looking at a screen instead of looking at people up on stage. Something that sets WA TV apart is that um, we have a live audience every week, so we get to show our school um, something that is important and valuable to us as a class. Being a senior in WA TV is definitely a privilege because uh, having been in so many different classes we know most of the teachers here and it makes it a lot easier to go out to them and film my when I was in high school segments. Uh, WA TV is pretty different from other fine arts class I've taken at WA. Um, there's obvious deadlines to meet if you don't get your video in by Monday then it doesn't play so it's very hard to keep track and make sure you've edited everything and made sure it's quality but overall it's a really fun challenge. So a highlight for me for Watt TV was um, whenever on Mondays when we film or produce our episode, um, my favorite part was just um, anchoring or taking part in the process. It's this chaotic process. People are running around, editing, doing sound, but um, I love the kind of live feel it had and um, anchoring was really fun. Um, From all the seniors at Studio 22, thank you Mr. Hockett and thanks for watching.